Welcome to Sevierville, Tennessee, hometown of country music legend Dolly Parton. Situated between Knoxville, Tennessee and Asheville, North Carolina, this East Tennessee mountain town is easily accessible by plane or car. The Great Smoky Mountains provide the perfect backdrop for stunning views and adventures that would take your breath away. Founded in 1795, the town was named for John Sevier, a Revolutionary War hero who would later become Tennessee's first governor. Today, Sevierville is home to more than 14,000 residents, and it's bursting with down-home Smoky Mountain charm. Hi, I'm Colleen Kelly, and this is Family Travel. Welcome to Sevierville, Tennessee. In this episode of Family Travel, we'll show you what makes Sevierville, Tennessee a perfect choice for your next family getaway. You'll see why local legend Dolly Parton wants everyone to visit her beloved hometown. Hold on to your helmets as we take a bumpy ATV ride up and down Foxfire Mountain, cross over America's longest swinging bridge, indulge in a donut at Sevierville's Design Your Own Donut Shop, fly high over the Smokies in a helicopter, and take a thrilling ride on the world's fastest wooden roller coaster. My name is Colleen Kelly, and when I was single, I lived abroad and traveled the world. Then I became a parent and wondered, how would I ever travel again? So I set out to find a new way to travel and get back to exploring the world family style. I'm here to guide you on how to get the most out of your family vacation. Pack your bags and join me, Colleen Kelly, and going on vacation. Funding provided by... Is this my car? State Farm knows that for every what? one of those moments, there's go? one of these. Is this my car? This is ridiculous! This is ridiculous! Ah! <laughs> From car insurance to car loans, State Farm is here to help life go right. The first stop on our tour of Sevierville is Foxfire Mountain Adventure Park. Opened in 2009 by former cattle breeders, the family-owned property stretches 150 acres between and up two mountains. And this adventure park doesn't skip on adventure. Visitors can ride on the highest zip line in the Smokies, the Goliath, and walk across the longest swinging bridge in America. But we decide to start our Foxfire fun a little closer to the ground. Oh wow, this place is so cool. Look at the pig on the zip Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's cool. Hi, Hi how are welcome you? to Foxfire Mountain. Oh, thank you. This is place is incredible. I can't get over this. What can we do here? Well, we've got all kinds of things for all ages. We have climbing walls, we have aerial courses, hiking trails. You can relax, you can have adventure. We've got two zip line courses to choose from, and we have ATV rides that will take you places in the park that no one else gets to see. I think we're up for adventure, and that ATV thing sounds perfect, yeah. right? Should we do that? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's go. Okay, when you get in, we have a step in the back here. Step on the step, get in, find a seat belt, and put it on. Okay, go on, girls. <laughs> Is this going to be a, a rough ride? Um, yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> I just want to say one thing. I am doing this for them because I am really a little scared. But Don't be. I'm scared, too. I'm Don't be. I've only flipped it once and lost two people. You're good. Oh, lovely. In five years. Did I have to hear that at the beginning of the ride <laughs> or at the end? Our tour guide, Kevin, assured us he was in fact kidding before tearing it up along the path. Don't expect to stay clean. These bear crawlers kick up serious dirt. The hour-long ride takes thrill seekers as young as three years old up and down steep mountain trails with a few stops along the way. All right, girls, this is a sassafras tree. Um, you can make sassafras tea out of it. It tastes like root beer. The old timers chew on the stems. Kind of has a wintergreen flavor. Um, tastes pretty good, just the stem. Go ahead, you can try. Look what we're learning, huh, girls? Oh, it tastes like mint, no. like a little mint. No, it tastes a little bit like mint. A little bit like mint? Yeah. Does it taste like a plant? A little bit. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. You want another one? I'm fine. You're good. <laughs> After learning about edible plants, we were back on the trail. It's really bumpy but really fun. It's like a roller coaster. The last stop on our ATV tour, Lost Mine Falls, is only accessible by foot. So we jumped out for a refreshing hike. It's so wonderful. And it's really pretty. Beautiful trees. It goes down there. And it sounds cool. It looks cool. After a wild ride, this is worth it. Take a look at this. 
as if the ATV tour didn't provide enough thrills for the day. The girls were ready to take it to the next level with a high-flying zipline tour between mountains. There are two zipline courses at Foxfire Mountain, and since kids as young as seven can zip, it's a great family-friendly activity. And just like that, the girls were off. How fun was that? That was really fun. How fast do you think you went? I have no clue. Fast. Are we going to another one? Yeah, one more. The girls zipped across the mountain one more time before meeting me back on solid ground for one last thing. It's tradition at Fox Bar Mountain to visit the wishing station and write a wish for health, wealth, or prosperity. We carried our wishes across the Bridge of Prosperity to hang in the Whispering Winds Covered Bridge. Here. You put it in and you tie it, and look at all the wishes here. These are all people's wishes. This is really cool. Everyone is having fun. That was your wish? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. It already came true, you know. Mine says that I wish that I could stop world hunger. All right, wish us luck. No visit to Sevierville would be complete without exploring the historic downtown. The heart of downtown is the Sevierville County Courthouse. Built in 1896, the Victorian-style building is a national landmark and is home to the famous Dolly Parton statue. Across the street from the courthouse, we found a courthouse of a different kind, for donuts. At Courthouse Donuts, you get to design your own donut and judge the flavors for yourself. Hey guys, how are you? Hi, great. Awesome, who's in the mood for donuts today? Who's not in the mood for donuts? Oh, we've got some good <laughs> ones. Have you had the donuts before? Do you know how it works? No. No? Well, we start with a vanilla cake donut. So all the donuts themselves are actually the same. Then you choose an icing, choose a topping, and choose a sauce. So you decorate it however you want it decorated. And here's the cool thing. There are about 19 on this side that are the most popular. On this side, tells you all the toppings, the icings, and the sauces, and you just go line by line and tell us what you want. I think we're gonna have to get 13 and a half donuts. Yeah, you know what that represents? You know what? 12 jurors, one judge, and a half a chance, you're gonna be found guilty of eating a whole lot of donuts. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? You know why? Because we're across from the courthouse here. Ladies, these look awesome. I tell you what, normally, we design it, I do a lot of it, but would you like to come back and yeah. really design your own donut? That sounds great. Let's get you some aprons. Let's okay. get you aprons. With the help of the owner's 12-year-old son, the girls were ready to whip up a courthouse dozen. But little did I know they had some unusual flavor combinations in mind. So I'm going to make a vanilla and fruity pebble one for me. And I'm going to make a chocolate with chocolate chip. And we're going to make a very gross one. Hey, I'm Noah, this is my famous shop, and we're just gonna make your donuts. So you just wanna pat them down? Okay, so we were gonna make a really gross one for Cece's stuff. What do you have that's gross? It's got mustard and pickles. Okay, that works. <laughs> She's gonna love this. Can we put some peanut butter on top of it? <laughs> it's perfect. But to be nice, we should probably make a good donut for it. Let's make our chocolate. With all 13 donuts glazed and sprinkled with toppings, I was ready to be the judge and decide which of the girls' donuts was the best. Are you ready for me? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna blindfold you and you have to guess what's on the donut. Okay, I'm ready. Well, I can't see a thing. Is that mm -hmm. the point? Yep. Okay, I'm so excited. here's the first donut. Okay. It's right here. Where is it? Okay. Take a bite. Okay. And if you don't like it, you have some water and some coffee. Wash it down. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, mm. what is that? Peanut butter and chocolate. Yes. That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, you girls know me so well. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good. Mmm, I like this one. This is definitely a contender. Ready for the yes, I'm judging the second one. Mm, I bet this one's going to be even better than the, next, than the last one. Okay. Can you think a big bite or a little bite? Big one? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, it's very good. This is right. Mmm. Coconut? This is my first one. I'm so favorite. proud of you. I bet this one's gonna be the best one. Just a feeling. Where is it? It's a big one. Look at them! Oh! <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's spicy. Want I, water? Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Guess what it is? 
I tasted pickles on a donut. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. What was it like? What was the flavor? What was it ice with? Um, spicy. Thank you, Keelan. No, it was spicy <laughs> mustard. At Courthouse Donuts, we tried the sweet to the not so sweet. But I think we gotta find out what the verdict is. All right, girls, what's the verdict? In our taste test, the pickled donut wins. Case closed. There is nothing like waking up to the cool and crisp air of the mountains. And when you're visiting the Smokies, the best way to truly experience the mountains is to stay among them in a log cabin. Early European settlers built simple log cabins as shelter for their families, which were often multi-generational. Many historic log cabins have been preserved in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park for tours. And today, there are countless log cabin resorts, both rustic and luxury, for visitors who want the full mountain town experience. So today, I'm actually at Hidden Mountain Resort, and it's really, really cool. We are staying in a log cabin, and this is your family's home, right? Yes, we all live here, we all work here. Um, since 1981, my parents started the resort when my brother, sister, and I were under five years old. We were the first log cabin resort in the Smokies. Ooh. And now we have um, about 200 cabins from one to 14 bedrooms and log cabins, cottages, villas. They're yeah. beautiful. And these are luxury log cabins. They are. They come fully equipped. You've got everything you need for your kitchen, the, the bathrooms, the linens. You know, it's, it's not like camping anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, after hearing about all this, I am so excited. And the girls are in there. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go check it out. Thank you. I'm marking my territory. And it didn't take long for the girls to feel right at home in our log cabin. So, both the bunk beds have TVs and little shelves behind them. Right at the bottom. I can stop. So when you come out here, there's a big pool, chairs, and another pool next door. There's three pools. There's one over there, there's one inside, and one right here. If you get the opportunity to stay in a place like this, do it. It's not only great for kids because there's a game room, there's a pool, and there's tons of things to do, but it's great for moms too because we get a little chance to relax. This is the last pool, the third pool. One of Sevierville's most popular attractions is the Apple Barn and Cider Mill. The family-owned business opened in 1981 with a small apple orchard and a gift shop. Since then, it has become a one-stop shop for all things apple. Fresh pressed apple cider, warm from the oven apple pie, candied apples with made from scratch caramel, apple wine, and countless apple themed products. We caught up with owner Bill Kilpatrick to find out how the apple barn and cider mill got started. It began as a hobby that just got out of hand. I'm a pharmacist and had a drugstore downtown. We bought the farm and had cattle and tobacco on it. We lived in the house or where the restaurant is. And we started having apple trees that had apples on them, we started selling them out of our carport and out of the driveway. And then we planted more apple trees and more apple trees, so we needed a place to sell them. And this is a family business, correct? Yes. And mm -hmm. your sons work here now? Yes, they do. Did they start all this with you? Well, of course, or they were that? little fellows. That, when I was digging the hole, planting these trees, they'd <laughs> jump down in there and pull the dirt in after I mean, lay in the dirt. But it's, uh, slowly evolved. Okay, so this is our old-fashioned peanut brittle and uh, we've got it uh, cooling now on our marble top cooling table and so uh, as you can see we just have it uh, poured out by hand and we're uh, about ready to package it. So it's really neat. It has four ingredients and um, it's one of our most popular candy items that we make here at the Apple Barn. It smells incredible. It smells really good. Oh my gosh, yes. It smells so wonderful. We also make an old-fashioned stick candy, which is a really neat uh, process to watch that. And that's all pulled by hand and cut by hand. And we do that here in the room next door. And we also, I guess our number one thing that we do here at the candy shop are our caramel apples and candied apples. So all those are, we make uh, caramel from scratch 
and uh, cook them in these copper kettles and hand dip the apples. And we've got caramel and we have caramel with nuts and we do a red candied apple, old fashioned candied apple. How does that apple. sound, girls? Sounds really good. <laughs> we make uh, candy in here every day. It's small batches and just sell it here. We don't distribute it any other stores. We just sell it here at our candy shop. So this is Gary and Gary's gonna break off a piece for us to try. This is so fresh. Look at this. Ooh, this is special. You know, it smells so incredible. It's really good. But kind of like caramel. Mmm, that is good. That is really good. And it's warm too, isn't that nice? Thank you so much. This is really nice we were able to do this. Can you say thank you, girls? Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go explore some more. And our candy shop tour didn't end there. Shay got a taste of some fresh fudge. That's really good. We decided we couldn't walk away without indulging in the candy shop's best seller, the classic caramel apple. You can't come to the apple barn and cider mill without getting some kind of apple. And we got the best one, right girls? Yeah. With caramel. Yay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. And you have a good day. And caramel <laughs>
For one of the best meals in Sevierville, you have to go where the locals go. Housed in a gas station on the side of the road, Frank Allen's Market is easy to miss. But this place has been voted best burger in Sevierville every year for more than a decade, so you don't want to miss it. Once you're inside, it's easy to see why even Dolly Parton counts Frank Allen's as a favorite. You could come here at lunch and there's doctors or lawyers or judges or construction workers or just your normal everyday people in here. You don't see that in, in many convenience stores. Everybody just likes to come here, you know, they got good hamburgers, good food. The market's menu is simple. Made to order burgers, sandwiches, and Dolly Parton's personal favorite, the slaw dog a hot dog topped with chili and coleslaw. It was always so packed. We said, well, it has to be good if there's a lot of people eating here. After checking out the menu, we were lucky enough to order from Frank Allen himself. Hello. Uh, hi. We'd like How to are order, you? please. Oh, that's what I'm going to have. Can I have a cheeseburger? One cheeseburger. And you know what I'd like, Frank, I'm right? a slow dog. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's go sit down. Oh, my gosh. That was good. Is it good? Is that the best cheeseburger you've ever had? Really? Wow. Say, so, is it good or great? Great. <laughs> when you come to Sevierville, you have to come to Frank Allen's Market. It's where the locals eat, and it's also where Dolly Parton gets a saw dog. Just like this. <laughs> Yummy. There are countless reasons to visit Sevierville but Dollywood should be at the top of your list. In fact, the entertainment park, owned in part by country music legend Dolly Parton herself, is Tennessee's top tourist destination. Dollywood opened in 1986, but the location in the foothills of Sevier County has been used for several entertainment parks dating back to 1961. But by far the most successful venture to date is Dollywood a celebration of a very famous mountain gal. I have to tell you, I'm a huge fan of Dolly and I'm so excited to be standing here right in this theme park. And I, I just wanna know how she came up with this idea or how it all started. Well, you know, we call Dolly our dreamer in chief and more than 30 years ago, she decided she wanted a place here in her native Sevier County because she was born just miles away in Sevierville. And let me tell you, you're not alone. We all love Dolly. Who doesn't love Dolly, <laughs> right? Everyone yeah. loves Dolly. And you know what I love the most, though, is that you can actually go to a museum here and find out all about her and her childhood. What is that like? Yeah, her museum is amazing. It starts with her beautiful costumes from movies and almost every award that she's ever won wow. right here. And then, of course, we have lots of fun things like great ride. Um, we waste no time and head straight for Dollywood's newest and most thrilling ride, the Lightning Rod. A lightning fast wooden roller coaster that propels riders down a 160 foot drop, reaching a top speed of 73 miles per hour. Shay and I decided that the ride may be a little too thrilling for us. So we watch in awe as Daredevil Keelan gave it a go. So I'm about to go on the fastest wooden roller coaster in the world. So For roller coasters to more mild rides like the carousel, there are plenty of rides to choose from. And when you need a break from the rides, there's one thing that no one in the family can say no to, the famous cinnamon bread from Gristmill. On average, the shop sells 800 to 1,000 loaves of the gooey buttery bread a day. We ordered two loaves with icing and apple butter on the side. You know, sometimes in family vacations, you need to take breaks. So we found some sun, some shade, and a little sugar. On a hot day at the park, a water ride like Smoky Mountain Rampage is a great way to cool off. We hopped aboard a river raft of our own and set off into the Whitewater Rapids. Was it as intense as the roller coaster, but I'm a big roller coaster person, so I think they're about equal. And after the ride, we took advantage of the family-sized dryer. What a great adventure we had here in Sevierville, Tennessee. We zipped high above the trees at the Adventure Park, tasted a good old-fashioned slaw dog at Dolly Parton's favorite diner, soaked up a beautiful view of the Great Smoky Mountains from a helicopter, 
relax by the poolside at our luxurious log cabin in the mountains. And who could forget that hair-raising ride on the lightning-fast wooden roller coaster at Dollywood. Hey, y'all. We had a great time in the Smoky Mountains. Thanks for watching Family Travel. I'm Colleen Kelly. Enjoy making memories on your next family vacation. Welcome to Seamerville! Alright, after a while, I'll do the fog on your screen. Oops. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Funding provided by. Is this my car? State Farm knows that for every what? one of those moments, oh there's one of these. Is this my car? This is ridiculous! This is ridiculous! Ah! <laughs> From car insurance to car loans, State Farm is here to help life go right. For more information on upcoming destinations and projects, visit FamilyTravelCK.com. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and check us out on Snapchat. We'd love to hear from you. See the complete series of Family Travel with Colleen Kelly now on Amazon Prime.